Wiener Airlines is a large airline company that operates flights to all major tourist destinations and has a huge IT environment to support their business. They use CA Spectrum infrastructure to monitor and manage various devices on the network. Their network environment have thousands of devices. These devices include routers, hubs, and switches. Each device has its own configuration that specifies how a device operates. The network administrators of Wiener Airlines need to keep track of all the device's configurations, configuration changes, and making sure that configuration changes are relevant. Wondering how they do that? They use the CA Spectrum Network Configuration Manager that allows them to capture, modify, load and verify configurations for thousands of multi-vendor devices. In addition, it allows administrator to set alarms. An alarm is generated if there is any change in the configuration. This enables administrators to view and compare the differences for a single device. They can even create policies to monitor content for a device configuration. Devices that violate the policy can generate an alarm and receive remediation. Let's view a quick demonstration on how to set alarms using CA Spectrum Network Configuration Manager. Before we begin, we must set the configuration change alert settings that control alarms, and the types of alarms that are generated. Open the one-click console. Under the Explorer tab, select the Configuration Manager. Then, from the Contents pane, click the Information tab. Expand the Configuration Change Alert subview to view the Configuration Change Alert options. You can modify these options as needed. Click Set to select the alert type from the drop-down. Select the Alarm on any changes option from the drop-down. This will raise an alarm if there is any configuration change. Let's set the reference violation alert type to specify the type of alarm that is asserted when a reference configuration violation occurs. Select the major alarm option from the drop-down. Similarly, let's set the configuration change alert type to specify what type of alarm that is asserted when any configuration change occurs. Select the minor alarm option from the drop-down. We will now see how to view the differences between configurations that triggered an alarm. From the Explorer tab, select a device, a device family, or a global collection and then click on the List tab from the Contents pane. Select the required device from the list. In the Information tab, expand the Network Configuration Manager and then expand the Local Communication Configuration subview. The Local Communication Configuration options are displayed. You can use these options to override the default communication mode on the device family. The available options depend on the device type. Ensure that these options are set. Now, click the Host Configuration tab. Select the captured configuration from the Host Configuration table and click the Upload Configuration icon. The Upload Configuration dialog is displayed. Now, edit the existing configuration. Then, click the Upload button. Message confirms the successful upload. Click the OK button. This indicates that the modified configuration is uploaded in the device. Now, let's capture the latest configuration for this device. Click the Capture Configuration icon. Once the configuration is captured, observe the audio stating there is one new minor alarm. Click the Alarms tab in the Contents panel. Observe a new minor alarm is added stating that the configuration has changed. Click the View Differences hyperlink under the Alarm Details tab in the Component Detail panel. Observe the differences in the configurations in the Configuration Differences window. The text highlighted in blue shows the configuration difference for which alarm was raised. Click the Close button to close the dialog. Now, let's see the Alarm Details. Click the Alarms tab in the Contents panel. Under the Alarms Details tab, note the severity, symptoms, cause, and the actions for this particular alarm is specified. You can also click the Information icon to view the alarm details in a separate window. Click the Close button. 
We will now see how to create a policy in Network Configuration Manager. A Network Configuration Manager policy defines criteria that are used to monitor content for a device host configuration. A policy is checked and compared every time a device host configuration file is captured. Devices that violate the policy can generate an alarm and receive remediation. You can create single-line policies or multi-line block policies. This demo covers only the single-line policies. A single-line policy compares the currently defined host configuration to the policy definition one line at a time. Each line of data in the host configuration will be analyzed against the policy. This type of policy is useful when checking for the existence of a single command throughout the entire configuration. Select a single device in the Explorer tab. In the Information tab of the Contents panel, expand the Network Configuration Policies subview and click the Create Policy icon. The Select Policy Type dialog is displayed. Let's click the Single Line Policy button. In the Create NCM Policy dialog, enter a name for the policy and click the Add button to create a criteria for comparison. The Policy Criteria dialog is displayed. Specify the comparison type and enter the content that needs to be compared. Also, you can specify whether to ignore the casing for the content and click the OK button. Remember, this content is verified and compared every time a device host configuration file is captured. The new criteria is added in the table. Now, specify the alarm criteria. Select the alarm device on violation checkbox to raise an alarm when a device is non-compliant with this policy. Then, set the severity of the alarm. Select the alarm policy on violation checkbox to raise an alarm when at least one device is non-compliant. Then, set the severity of the alarm. Click the Save button. In the Save NCM Policy dialog, click the Continue button. Note, if you click Exit, the policy becomes inactive and devices will not be verified for compliance with this policy. The Test NCM Policy dialog is displayed. Select the Enable Policy checkbox to apply this policy immediately and then click the Finish button. Click on the device. You can now hear an audio message stating the number of violations and severity of the alarm. Check the alarm details. Note the message states why the alarm is generated. Further, it can also highlights the severity of the alarm. Click the Close button. I am sure you now understand the importance of the alarms feature in CA Spectrum. To learn more about CA Spectrum, please visit the CA Spectrum website.